Hell yeah, let's fucking do this. So yeah, the rules... Well, I've done it already, but basically no temples, no early paragons, but you can fucking spam ability, so I'm definitely not gonna rip off Ethan Reed's strategy. Because I'm gonna put Sword right up here. <laughs> oh yeah, let's also get the free glue gunner, because why the fuck not? I don't have auto start on because I would murder myself if I did that. So yeah, essentially the strategy is just going to be to spam the fucking banana farms around this corner, get a bunch of fucking druids to farm money with their sped up abilities and then just slap a monkeyopolis here when things get better I guess and I've entirely forgot about buying shit but it probably starts me a little sooner nope it starts me exactly where I left off okay whatever if I die then we know why <laughs> okay now I'm just restarting I keep forgetting about that shit I should just keep my thingy on her there you go there's solder there's my worthless motherfucker. Nah, even though he's worth no monetary cost, he's probably the most valuable guy in the game. Gotta well, love how all of the cool gameplay is being missed by this fucking upgrade window. But I keep forgetting about it, so we must do what we must do. I don't mind losing the tiniest bit of income, it's just when I forget entire fucking upgrades for an entire round, yeah, that's like gonna fuck up the entire bloody run. I do wish this game would just like have the towers press against each other when they're like super barely not able to be placed. It would make the fucking pixel perfect placements so much fucking easier. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not buying longer life bananas, it's because, like, it only adds 25% to it, and these are, like, 200%, so then that would only be, like, an extra 50% for the cost of an entire other farm, basically, so, yeah. Now if you want cash efficiency, the bomb path is the way to go, but obviously it, it only starts generating money at like the fucking... Get in there. Get the fuck in there. <laughs> yeah, at like the third tier upgrade, so you know. Plus also it does buff boat farming, because you know, that... That needs a fucking buff. <laughs> so yeah, how much do they sell for? I might as well buy one more and then sell it off for a fucking druid income. Then I'll only need to save for like the amount of the amount for one more. And it should generate enough money to be worth it. Yeah, I'll just wait until the end of the round to be safe because it's still gonna take time to charge the ability anyway. One, two. It's druiding time. It is pixel placementing time. And that's why I fucking waited. God damn it. At home. Alright, so yeah. End of this round with this additional income it will definitely I forgot corrosive glue actually no 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 continue this is the point where we get our money drew our money fucking ourselves so no I want him to be able to see here then I can also give him the fucking Come on, lead to girls, stronger acid, so when he misses, it just stays on the fucking track. Target strong. 
and then let's go and get some money shall we yeah there we go i can already rebuy that farm in its entirety well basically entirety i need to remember the fucking keybinds more i've been doing a good job of that this round but yeah so when i get enough to buy that next farm yeah I'll sell all these, put down the druid, and then that'll be like 1,000 every ability use. And these farms produce like 80, 100, yeah, something, something each round. It, it's less. And then there we go. And actually, this guy has all of them in his radius, so I don't need to bother with larger radius. And then, yeah, we'll say for this next guy, he needs a wee bit of reach to see that corner one. And just like that, that is a bunch of income. And they aren't even escaping the fucking beginning. So yeah, actually, because I'm not getting the top half, they can't pop the lead, so the fucking uh, money bitch can. Yeah, the only problem is you can't put fucking XL traps or anything, but honestly, we have limited monkeys in this game mode anyway. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot to fucking say that, didn't I? Okay, four rounds. Can I? Yeah, I should be able to buy him. Uh, let's get one more farm down here and then yeah we'll just sell the druids to get a elite sniper as seen with the previous attempt kind of oh actually yeah I do have like a fuck ton of money But I do still... Yeah, I want him in this corner to keep him far away from Lich when he's passing the other side. At the beginning, it doesn't really matter if he heals. Because, like... Yeah, anyway. Full metal jacket. So... So the money through it. Fourteen thousand five hundred five hundred. Yeah. So barely too little. There we go. This guy handled it all on his own last attempt, so Let's slow the game down and let's just get back to farming. Alright, the rounds aren't gonna pause my own fucking pay attention to it. Look at how fast. And then yeah, that's just him stealing the fucking self buff even though he doesn't even display a fucking buff. Like seriously, I fucking hate self buffs. It just it just makes certain powers just basically unusable for no fucking reason. Well, in boss events, but still. And uh, it just seems like fucking poor design, honestly. And like, they can add like a countdown timer onto Geraldo's abilities, but they can't like... Give me the money, 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 money. All right, and then more farm, farm it. God, I am gonna single-handedly kill that already dead name. It would be great if you like. Yeah, attack the actual lich. 
Oh yeah, there we go, he's far enough away to no longer cause issues. I should probably wait until after Lich is dead to sell this farm and buy the druid, so... Yeah, I think I might have to just go for bomb path farms for the Mongeopolis just to build up more lives in the meantime. Alright, and then... I have the fucking keybinds. Uh, and there we go. Nice. Oh, I sh yeah, maybe I can just buy the first druid. Uh, that sh should be good. I'll generate that in the round. There we go. Uh, druid reach. Uh, we'll need a village buff to see that one, but. Yeah, there we go. We got that. Extra damage now. Druid reach, so you can see that one. Yeah, it just takes two of them to entirely close down that fucking beginning of the track. And then I can dump an income village afterwards. To, I don't think it buffs their ability, but... Well, they're getting most of the pups in, so you know. Use the fucking ability. Yeah, 800. I think this guy barely. No, I think he is gonna need the fucking income village. Oh, yeah, also, let's get him on a different targeting priority. Just spread out the damage a little mo bit more. There we go. And then, just like that, they demolish everything. Bigger radius. I mean, that guy basically sees everything anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter if one makes slightly less as long as I'm still producing. And is it worth it to sell off the farms to buy the middle path? Well, the valuable bomb path because that does produce slightly more money. Because of monkey knowledge. I think I do have that monkey knowledge. Um, yeah, that. And then I can get fucking. Well, I can only get two bolts, but. Two is better than nothing. And then valuable. Oh, yeah, that is worth it. Oh, yeah, Monkey Town gets a larger radius. Why did I buy those upgrades? <laughs> yeah, all monkeys are within. That gets more per pop. Yeah, no, let's focus on upgrading the farms themselves and the lives. The fun of pixel perfect fucking come on I fit one in here before right there come on you fucking bitch uh, and then uh, and soon I'm gonna need something to assist Sordo because yeah the camos are getting a little far it's at the end of the round basically And let's sell you. Come on. Uh, am I trying to place it too high, too low? Mm. 
Fuck it. Now let's find that pixel. And slide it down. Slide it down. <laughs> so fucking painful. Come on. I had it. Uh, I is that perfect enough? Yeah, that. I think that is literally per pixel fucking perfect. It's one of these. I think this guy is a bit of a fat ass. That might be what's causing issues. Might as well get jungle drums. Don't really need it, but yeah. Also, this shit is kind of bad actually. Um, no, we still have seven rounds. I can afford to get Monkey Town and that. Alright, so then that one, Monkey Town. And there we go, then we can get an overclock to fucking boost some farms. But actually, I think it will just be more efficient to upgrade them. Yeah, we really need more lives than just this. There we go, we are getting that life generation now. Okay, I'm back up to 100 lives. Yeah, no point buying another thing because I'm just going to have to sell everything again. Or maybe I just need to remember fucking camo legs exist. That that might be an idea. Continue. To be fair, I don't even think I need to buy defenses for that. I just need to use her ability. So sorry, my mic was just blocking the thing. But yeah, that's level one. Alright, so it's about after I use the Druid abilities. Yeah, it is doing work on those camo leads. Nice! That saved me quite a bit of money. Right, now what's a good defense? I need to buy bolts anyway. Uh, this guy does like, a bunch of fucking damage tick shit. I should really start farming fucking Paragon Pops as well. Um, yeah, this guy would add four ticks if I upgrade him. There is the grape shot. What do I even want? Aircraft Carrier does have a self buff, but it does insane damage. There's the Pirate Lord, which also does pretty insane damage. And it doesn't hit- yeah, get the- get the fucking Pirate. Alright, so Monkey Pirates. I'm gonna need to sell... Oh, that would hurt their- it's gonna hurt everyone's fucking production. No, still more. Absolute anuses. Oh, um, yeah, let's sell the edge one so it doesn't need to be as per pixel fucking perfect. Okay, so then there's this bit bollock. Is this gonna be enough damage? I'm not sure if that increases it or not. I think I did literally just check the wiki, but oh, yeah, why didn't I just sell this guy? Well, it does still increase those two actually, and it wouldn't have given us much money. Um, 
I hope this is going to be enough damage. Uh, we are doing fucking nothing to him and I used the wrong fucking ability. Alright now, this will be enough. Jasper, why do you pick literally the worst times? Okay, there we go. Bomb path. Long life. Let's get the glue back on him. Uh, and then... Bomb path. Do that blue strike. And then fucking bottom path. Please actually glue oh my god, it didn't actually glue him. Fuck. Whatever, he's still going down. I keep missing the fucking glue. It's so annoying. Strong first, let's put him on last. Uh I'll wait until after the eye gets popped. Because yeah, either way we are still going to win this. What the Get your fat fucking arsehole out of my way. Did I place him too far down? He looks further down than the other one. Blue strike him. What the fuck am I doing? Just... Just kill him already, fucking hell. Like, he is still gonna die, but like, fuck, I accidentally brought Ventral. I'm generating lives, that's gonna hurt my DPS. Um, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, the fucking mild graves, anyway. He's still gonna die, it doesn't matter. I'm just a bit annoyed at my shitty fucking mic micro. There we go. There we go. We we lived. I think lived is more accurate than one. <laughs> Cause that was fucking stuff anyway. Favorite trade, scrape shot. Now what's a more valuable buff? Buffing both of them or the trade empire, which buffs that guy's one. Yeah, I might as well just go for a trade empire. I need more and the farm pad on shit anyway. Speaking of which I should just spam the fucking hook ability as well. Yep, there we go, and then it's just this guy that needs it. If only there was a druid pack on, I would be doing so well right now. But alas, there is not. What that? Nothing is getting out of that beginning bit, what the fuck? 
How do I even lose them? Okay. Oh, and then how many do I have left? Two monkeys left, so I can buy an overclock for the village and a village for the village. And then I can buy a miniopolis and that should allow me to make income. Well, I say miniopolis, it is still gonna be like a normal opolis, but you know. It won't be in the perfect position. I could just sell the druids and then that would give me enough money to do that. But then also I would have extra spots to put farms and shit. Yeah, I think I will make the miniopolis then. And then that will also give me an overclock which I can just use wherever I want. I should probably t try to time that ability a smidge better. Also, rather to go, why not? Yeah, I am making so much fucking money right now. Good. Good, good, good. And I can finally afford that o overclock. Oh, I probably should have paid more attention because I definitely being wasteful. Alright, so let's do that. Yeah, it doesn't kill that top farm. There we go, the central market there. I am max monkeys already, so... When I get all these maxed out, I can just sell them off. Now I can sell these guys off to get more farms to make the big opolis. Oh yeah, it hurt. Let's sell this guy for another dedicated farm. Oh, what, what am I doing? I mean, to be fair. To be fair, that was a good trade. Especially since these give me fucking help. Yeah, that was definitely the right thing to do. Oh yeah, and that would stop these guns from stealing pots. Oh Matt, look at how much money these druids have made for me. God damn. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Buff these ones, they have... whatever. There we go, yeah. It includes all of the layers with that, so... Just wanted the money guy. Anyway. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna get the... Monkey off the list this round because that would be suicidal. Hmm, how many debuffs do I get? Do I get the one or two? That also, yeah, let's can steal the thing still and more often, but a fucking buffed pirate lord should be able to do some work and then hopefully next round we can get a paragon well first of all I definitely need this guy all right, actually yeah he's gonna get jungle drums from here and his debuff has infinite range so yeah yeah let's just do him here then and then there's cripple mold Set him to strong. Set him to strong. Um. Yeah, he does just spam a fuck ton of projectiles, and so does that guy. All of these guys do because of fucking hot shot and whatever. So yeah. Now I just need enough for cripple mold. Cripple mold. Now, is that enough diva? I got the glue. I got him, and I got yeah. I've I've brought additional damage, and I've got additional debuffing. That should hopefully be enough. Oh, we have one more. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Could have made more money. Whatever. Right, hopefully this will be enough damage. Uh, 
Let's see. Oh yeah. So then get the glue, get that guy. Oh, and then there's this guy. Oh, that might not be enough damage actually. Yeah, let's just get mad. And then, yeah, while he's finally beat the buff up, do the rocket storm. Do I risk healing him? What the fuck am I doing? What the actual fuck am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, I think I will just spend monkey money to restart this round, because like... Yeah, this is just kind of stupid. I guess this heal the lich up a little bit. Come on. Come on, get fucking mad. Now this dude is doing damage. Increase pierce. Oh, but yeah, this is... We are now doing damage. Let's do this before I die. Oh, yeah, that might actually be good. Because, well, from all of the debuffs, it will turn just, like, that one damage into, like, fucking... Oh, yeah, Glue Storm has, like, four damage to that. There's the 15 additional. Well, there's four damage from that. Yeah, let's... Let's focus on Diva. Super brittle. Yeah, this... Oh, wait, actually, it is worth by a lot, but probably not as much as, like, each individual farm would be. I don't need to buff his radius. I don't need to... Oh, to overclock. In fact, that might hurt me overall. I think Blue Storm does more damage anyway. Then I can just like dump a ninja paragon up here. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Additional damage ticks and charging up degrees. I might as well put Sticky Bomb up here. No, wait, yeah, I do need to get Sticky Bomb in a better position, so yeah, once again, just like somewhere in the middle-ish here. That should reach that lane and that lane because of his fat fucking hitbox. Yeah, I'll keep the Ophelis as the fucking farm. This should hopefully be a lot more damage now. Oh yeah, this is way better.
yeah this guy is like nearly half down and he's like not even halfway so yeah that is good would be even good if I remembered to use fucking abilities though him now I can afford to set to a market oh yeah that is basically 100% up so I'm perfect Target him in the corner. God damn, this boss just does not want to fucking go down. Still, so he is taking damage. Then it's raining glue. Hallelujah, it's raining glue. It's raining glue, yeah. It is sticking close, but we love it all the same. It's raining glue. How does it do more damage to things? Who knows? We do not fucking care. Cause it's working in our favor. It's raining blue. Hallelujah, it's raining blue. It's raining blue, yeah. We might be fucked next round. But this is the furthest I have got Can you just die? You know, I've kind of calculated this kind of perfectly I am surprised, yeah I just Kind of suck Okay Let's just aim you over there and then Okay, so I don't need all of these buffs anymore So let's sell you Get a sacrificial farm up here Like, I mean, that is good mob damage, but like I really don't need that additional damage right now. I just need to farm for Paragon now. Don't accidentally buy the cunt. <laughs> Alright, I could have been going up a path. I'm gonna buy all the fucking top path farm. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna rebuy literally all of these farms. I do really like that they added the fucking nudge mode though. So yeah, 
let's save for the central, I think. Oh yeah, let's give the guy jungle drums. Since he's already gonna get buff stole from him from the fucking village. Oh no, I was supposed to do the fucking other part. This one's gonna be the fucking big one. Well, the money collecting one rather. However. There we go. This guy can now auto collect from these two, then the rest will make fucking. Oh. How much are these making? Uh, seven. I mean, that's made like 26,000, but that's made like. Oh, yeah, no. Fuck them, I'm focusing on these farms. Get some bottom path ones. Totally for lives and not because I don't have enough monkey money for tech box box because I fucking spent it on a continue. Totally not. Yeah, I'll get an Ultra Boost and start Ultra Boosting this cunt. Okay, and then I just need an Ultra Boost. And then after all of this farming, I can just start Ultra Boosting a fucking... Uh, Mad. Because that's like the next best damage compared to Paragons. I'm definitely gonna have to sell some of my farming setup to buy the fucking Paragon. There we go, yeah, that's got the max tank stat. God damn, this is... Fucking nutty. Damn, what am I doing? Fuck! Why didn't I just hook them? There have been more pops for fucking Paragon as well. Alright, so then that is 55,000, 65, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of selling, okay, I should only need 1k now, I really don't want to sell this guy, cause I, oh yeah, I'm selling this guy, no, it doesn't, good. Like 2k. This guy is a fast attacker, so it will stack with the debuffs. Do I just go for a mid round buy? How much will these produce? This is risky, but I think I'm going to go for a mid-round buy because I don't... Yeah, never do it. Oh my god, that was the right choice. I did something correctly, guys. Can you believe it? Can you guys fucking believe it? I'm not a screw up. I knew what I was doing. No, but that is actually really fucking good because that means I can keep my buffed farms. What the fuck am I doing? Why? Okay, I'm getting cocky. Let's let's not do that. Come on. There we go, let's... Let's get me and come back. Alright, and then... Oh, I just... 
just spam farms about. I've got limited fucking towers. Let's pop one there. Let's pop one there. Uh, actually, maybe I should keep the glue going though. And just just keep spamming everything that should still keep generating me money it does good at least okay so One monkey left, let's just buy back the ultra boost. I'm so glad the stacks remain after you sell the guy. For some reason it didn't work when I sacrificed him to a sun temple, but which lost my highest fucking replay round, which was fucking annoying. But also 21, we got the good 20. So are you fucking kidding me? The maximum purchase and shit and having like two things self-buffing Oh my god, it's so annoying But whatever Yeah, like that is just fucking insane It might actually, yeah, let's there we go, he has an extra person in the front, isn't that cute? See, he's got a little... He's got an extra little fucking rod there. Doesn't look as cool. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, I'm only really using it for the energizer, yeah. So then even faster cooldown so I can stack faster. Oh yeah, and the fucking... Yeah, and the fucking ability, of course. Yeah, this guy counts as a shinobi as well, so let's... Let's just put him there. Let's do... Grand Saboteur. Spam the ability and maybe even get the other guy and start spamming his ability as well. Actually, yeah, charges are independent, just stick him in the front here so we can get a few. Don't spam click. I don't even have enough money to spam click anyway. I think the bomb path is more expensive plus. He he gets his own buff anyway, so that'll help him use more of his pierce. I think distraction Yeah, distraction is more money. And you know what? I think I'm gonna actually beat the elite and I did not think it was gonna be fucking lich of all thing. <laughs> Literally like the hardest boss. And like oh my god. Well, I guess I never beat Vortex, but the real question is, would it be worth it to? It would probably be more prudent to just get a mad. No way, mad. Of, of course, the thing I was going on about for ages. Damage tick. Can they see there? Yeah, you can. Let's start ultra boosting him. But yeah, this guy is definitely fell off. 
Alright, so I sold it honestly. Yeah, this guy is getting mad fucking pops. Right, why am I using the mad ability? That's just gonna steal pops anyway. Actually, yeah, dude's just gonna steal pops. Look in the corner. Oh yeah, in the time I accidentally had him there, he's like done quite a chunk of what this guy would have done in his entire stint in the game. Oh, maybe I should have waited a bit longer. But actually, actually... Yes, I got the extra clock on. Oh, there wasn't any wash. Okay. Okay. Now... Oh yeah, also I think Lich might just steal that bar. Uh, that might have been a waste of time. Oh well. Yeah, let's just sell absolutely everything now and then get the highest degree ninja. Alright, so which is most expensive? And then that's like 2,000, 5,000, uh, 2,000, 5,000. I think it might actually be a lower path that is most expensive. Because I think it is based on how much money you spend on them. Yeah, I already have that guy. Okay, good. Uh, and then I want the guy on here because Paragon, Paragon. Yeah, he has like massive fucking range. That is good. Wait, how high was that? 21. Why are they both the same fucking degree? <laughs> so, how much? 65,000. Okay, I definitely don't have enough for that. Though what I do have enough for... Dark Knight. And in fact... Wow, I have done a good job farming this round. I have put him in the worst fucking position. Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, I'll I'll just put him here. Yeah, and the anti balloon. All right, what's another good good tower? Oh yeah, the door. The fucking super fucking super brittle. The door. And then bigger radius. And then Yeah. Because they actually stack. So two of them. I got that debuff, I got I got the upgraded glue debuff. Oh yeah, that's just outright damage. Um Doing, need to keep him out of Lich's range. So 
so never miss targeting and rapid fire. And then there's Sky Shredder. And then Sharper Darts works with that. And then yeah, let's just have them go counterclockwise, why not? Just more aesthetic. Wait, this is yeah, this guy moves faster. Okay. And then the Sarbomba. Um, yeah, that does like huge damage. Sarbomba. And then, so the centre path shoots faster. Yeah, just centre path. There we go, it would be great if I had the XP for the Paragon, but... Actually, we didn't even have enough money to get the fucking other one, so yeah. Is this enough? Is this enough? Of course it's fucking enough. Mm. Alright. Yeah, fuck it, tax shooter. Yeah, let's lock him in a better position. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah, dude's, dude's health is going down. Yeah, dude's health is indeed going down. And yeah, he did just steal the buff, so all of that stacking was pointless. I should have just stacked the farms even more. Whatever, I got the tax zone, now let's just... Yeah, just take all of the damage, guy. I could have just killed it with the fucking thingy. Whatever. Come on, kill the inside. There we go. God damn, this guy is fucking tanky. Probably the reason why it's the fucking boss flu. <laughs> Yeah, that inside is going to be the problem. And then... Ok, 
Okay, aim it here and just fire the ability. And then just keep gluing the field. Okay, why did I do that? Yeah, he's repaired. Come on, fucking die. Fucking die already. Please, I am so close to beating the tier 5 fucking boss. I think. Die, 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 die. It did die. Holy shit, that was so fucking close. But I'm losing track of my fucking mouse now. Yeah, it's intersecting the hitbox. Oh my god, oh my god, yes! There we go. Why was Lich the first fucking elite I beat? What the fuck? Monkey financier. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking tell you about it. Was it yeah that? No, I'm I'm not fucking playing that again. And there we go. The reinflator. No inflation allowed. And then next event I should get that one. And yeah, that was actually pretty fun, honestly. Well, I mean, obviously, that's why I've fucking done it. But yeah, nice. And now I've got two hours of footage I can edit, so that is lovely.